This video shows how to work out your water requirements and where that water may come from. Charts in this video can be found on our website, Rural Life Bridgetown. This chart by the Water Corporation in WA provides a guide for domestic water use for households of different sizes. State Departments of Agriculture have figures for the water requirements of livestock. Calculating water requirements compared to the water available will indicate how many livestock you can keep, particularly in summer and autumn. Livestock will require more water in warmer weather and as water becomes saltier. Irrigation requirements for vegetables and orchards are available on websites of State Departments of Agriculture. Alternatively, hands-on techniques can quickly assess when irrigation is needed. This can help prevent overwatering and conserve water. You should consider having water dedicated to firefighting. Ideally, the stored water should be at least 10 kilolitres. Let us now look at water supply from rainwater tanks. Modal rainfall is the rainfall we receive most often, so it can be the best measure on which to plan. Here is a useful equation to help you calculate how much water you can collect from your roof areas. This can be calculated for each month or the whole year. If you are using water from a tank all year, there will be months when you are using more water than you are catching and excess months when you are catching more than your immediate needs, allowing the water level in the tank to rise. An adequate roof tank size combination will store more water in the wet months to meet your needs in the drier months. If you are saving a year's water for summer irrigation, the required tank will be a lot larger than the last example. Pumping water to a tank on a high point allows it to be gravity fed in pipelines around the property. Earth dams are a good way to harvest and store runoff for watering livestock or for use in irrigation. There are regulations on siting new dams, so check with your local authority. You cannot sink a dam anywhere and expect it to work well. Good dam sinking contractors will include site drilling and testing as part of their service. When choosing a contractor, ask other land owners for recommendations. Here are a few of the design features your dam sinking contractor will consider when choosing a dam site an adequate catchment. Adequate water holding clay on site to an adequate depth. A site for a silt trap immediately upslope of the dam to clean the runoff water before it enters the dam. And a site for a stable overflow. A dam's catchment can be enlarged to increase inflow by collecting runoff from a road or from constructing grade banks. These intercept runoff and channel it to the dam. You can reduce water evaporation by planting a mix of trees and shrubs on the windward side of the dam, provided the roots cannot grow into the dam walls. Fencing off dams from livestock can reduce needs for dam maintenance. Please see our website, Rural Life Bridgetown, and other sources of information on water-wise irrigation and water requirements for livestock. Thank you.